Like many of the studies that we've reviewed over the years, the result of a lot of these breakthroughs is just outstanding. This is one of them. In fact, you could actually utilize the word amazing. The reason being the simplicity in what it is and to emphasize exactly what it is. What it is being just exposure to visible blue light for 30 minutes could have profound impacts on healthy blood pressure and endothelial function, as well as other circulatory matters, including the release of nitric oxide. Now, let's get right into the study itself. It says blue light can reduce blood pressure, study suggests. This is not as uh, detailed as the abstract title, which we'll review in a second, but I wanted to highlight this in particular because of what it says. Visible blue light as opposed to ultraviolet light is not carcinogenic, quoting the researchers. All right, now to go to the abstract title itself. Blue light exposure decreases systolic blood pressure, arterial stiffness, and improves endothelial function in humans. You see what I mean? The abstract title is so much better than just the standard public release title. But we're going to go back to the public release because it simplifies the explanation. To proceed as follows. During the study published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, Cardiology participants were exposed to 30 minutes of whole body blue light at approximately 450 nanometers, a dose compared to daily sunlight. Now, what is amazing about this in particular is it was a control study, meaning one day they were exposed to the visible blue light, and the next day they were, they were exposed to control. And then they took the measurements two hours later. So we're really looking at the results of one brief exposure for a little over 30 minutes in regard to visible blue light, ending up with these results to proceed as follows. Followed by exposure to a control light on a different day. Visible blue light as opposed to ultraviolet light is not carcinogenic, to repeat. To assess the impact, participants' blood pressure, stiffness of arteries, blood vessel dilation, and blood plasma levels of nitric oxide stores were measured before, during, and up to two hours after radiation with both lights. Researchers discovered that exposure to whole body blue light significantly reduced the systolic blood pressure participants by almost eight points. Compared to the control light, which had no impact, the reduction of blood pressure from blue light is similar. And remember, just quoting the research, is similar to what is seen in clinical trials with blood pressure lowering drugs. Besides blood pressure lowering effects, it was uncovered that exposure to blue light improved other cardiovascular risk markers, including reduction of arterial stiffness and increasing blood vessel relaxation. This further supports that light can be used to prevent cardiovascular disease, which kills over 150,000 people. We're talking about Britain, a year in Britain, the UK. All right, so here we're just talking, utilizing something as natural as visible blue light. All right, I'm gonna go into the abstract just to give you an idea of how much impact this actually had. To proceed as follows. Blue light exposure significantly decreased systolic blood pressure and increased heart rate as compared to control. In parallel, blue light significantly increased forearm blood flow, flow mediated dilation, circulating nitric oxide species, and nitrosyl compounds while increased forearm vascular resistance and pulse wave velocity. Let's move back to the public release because the eloquence in regard to a particular medical device doing all this so simply is actually quite profound. Proceed to the conclusion of the study. Exposure to blue light provides an innovative method to precisely control blood pressure without drugs. Wearable blue light sources could make continued exposure to light possible and practical. This would be particularly helpful to those whose blood pressure is not easily controlled by medications such as older people. So yeah, it brings up a lot of interesting impacts in regard to blue light itself. Uh, 
it's kind of funny, especially in regard to nitric oxide compounds. You think blue light, you think blue pill. I'm just drawing an analogy, even though that really has to do with PD5 compounds and uh, the yin yang effect of uh, cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or CGMP. But, however, though, just the blue light itself in working with the skin to release nitric oxide uh, improve endothelial function, endothelial function, and as drop blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, as much as eight points with one exposure for 30 minutes is just, again, profound and amazing. Now, this study was done in healthy volunteers. I believe it was 14 people in, or 14 individuals. And of course, the study needs to be repeated and possibly larger groups with uh, varying other factors and health factors involved to make sure it carries through to unhealthy populations as well. But in regard to anything else, still, this pilot study, we'll call it, extremely, extremely promising and can have a huge, huge uh, reduction in health burden in regard to large portions of the population if this study takes hold and is followed through to basically other administrative venues. Again, this is Ralph Church Channel signing off. Hope you find this information in use. Thank you very much for listening once again and look forward to seeing you all again in seven days. Thanks for that. Bye.